Hello viewers, in this video I will show you this brand new jump starter unit from the company Ansel. And if you look at the jumper cable, it even has a very nice battery status monitor. How cool is that? So if you want to know more about it, stay tuned. So inside this box is the Ancel ePower 100 car jump starter. It's capable of putting out 500 amp peak at 12,000 milliamp hour. Now one unique feature about this unit is that they have incorporated an intelligent monitoring system with a LCD display into the jumper cable. It provides voltage and current information. So let's get right to unboxing this so you can see what this jump starter looks like. As you can see, this unit comes in this very nice storage case. Here's the user manual. Here's the jumper cable. This is the jump starter power bank. Over here we have the DC car charger. This is the AC charger. And here we have the USB charging cable. There's also this smart battery tester manual. It'll show you how to use the jumper cable. Here's a look at everything you get with this unit. Let's have a closer look at this unit. This jump starter has a starting current of 250 amp and a peak current of 500 amp. When it's fully charged, is able to jump start approximately 30 times. It's designed to jump start gasoline engines up to 4 liters and diesel engines up to 2.5 liters. On the left side here we have a 12 volt 10 amp output. You can use this to charge some laptops or power some 12 volt devices like a compressor. Next to it we have two USB charging ports. Both of these are rated at 5 volt at 2.4 amps. So you can use this to charge some of the bigger devices like a tablet. In the middle we have this red button. This is the power button. If you press this, it will illuminate the LED status. This will show you the charge level of the internal battery. Now when you get this new, you want to charge this to 100% before the first use. Okay. Next to it, this is the input 5 volt at 2 amp. So you can actually use a 5 volt micro USB charger to charge this battery. Next to it, this is the input 15 volt 1 amp. So with the included DC and AC charger, this is where you plug your charger into to charge this battery pack. On the far right, open up this rubber flap. We have the connector to connect your jumper cable. Over on this side, we have the flashlight. To turn on the flashlight, what you want to do is press and hold that red button. You'll see it turn on. This outputs 200 lumens. Press it again. Now it's strobe. Press it one more time. This SOS. Press it once again, and it'll turn off. To connect the jumper cable to the battery pack, what you want to do is open up this rubber flap and then plug this blue connector into the battery pack. Once you plug it in, you'll see this backlit LCD turn on. It'll give you information such as the product battery voltage, vehicle battery voltage, average current, and the peak current. Now besides giving you the voltage and current information inside this box, there are a lot of safety features built in. It has short circuit protection, overcharge protection, over discharge protection, over current protection, over temperature protection, reverse polarity protection, reverse charge protection, and over voltage protection. Over on this side, you see we have a boost button. And when you have a car battery that's completely dead or very low voltage, you want to press this boost button. And in boost mode, it will send 12 volt at maximum peak current from the power bank directly to your car battery allowing you to jump start a dead or very low voltage car battery. So let me demonstrate to you how to use this jump starter. I've gone ahead and charged this power bank. If I press the power button once, you'll see all the LEDs are illuminated. Next thing you want to do is connect the jumper cable to this connector right here. Let me demonstrate the safety feature on this unit. If I was to connect the positive and negative clamps together, creating a dead short, 
they will not damage the battery cells inside the jump starter. On many of the other jump starter units on the market, if you do this test, you short out the battery cells inside the jump starter and resulting in permanent damage. So let's test this right now. As you can see, with the two clamps shorted, the battery pack is still powering the backlit LCD, so that tells me the unit is still working. The safety feature inside this box prevents this short from causing any damage to the battery cells inside the jump starter. Now if you're jump starting a car battery that is very low in voltage or pretty much completely dead, you'll need to turn on the boost mode. On this side we have the boost button right here. What you want to do is press it. You hear a relay click and on the LCD you'll see jump start ready. Now after you enable the boost mode you have 30 seconds to get into your vehicle and start the vehicle up because after 30 seconds the boost mode will be disabled automatically. Now let me demonstrate to you how you go about using this jump starter to jump start your vehicle if you have a dead battery. Now my car battery is not dead but the steps I'm going to show you is the same procedure that you would use when you need to jump start your vehicle. With the jumper cable connected to the power bank, connect the positive clamp to the positive terminal of the car battery. Next connect the negative clamp to the negative terminal of the car battery. Now go to your vehicle and start it up. After you jump start your vehicle, you'll see the average current and the peak current of the jump start. So let me give you a close up look of the status display after the jump start. As you can see the average current is 49 amp, the peak current is 65 amp and right now the vehicle battery is measuring 12.6 volts. And at the bottom right hand corner of this screen you see SOH 100%. That's the state of health. So that tells you being 100% this is a good battery. Once the car is started, now remove the clamps on the battery. Well I hope you enjoy watching the review of this Ansel jump starter unit. As you can see it's very compact, very portable. So once you have the battery pack fully charged, all you need to do is leave it in your vehicle. So whenever you need it, you can take it out. And besides jump starting your own vehicle, having a device like this with you in your vehicle, you can help other drivers that might have a dead car battery. And I've done that a couple of times in the past. Also, if you wonder how long does a battery charge hold, typically they hold the charge very well. What I typically do is take it out every 10 months and top it off. You might find that it will drop from 100% to say 80%. So it doesn't drain a lot, so you just have to top it off, and then once it's fully charged, put it back in your vehicle. If you want to know where you can pick up one of these jump starter units, I'll put the link in the description below. If you have any questions or comments, leave one in the comment section, and don't forget to click on a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. Thank you.